Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here in Dusseldorf, Germany at the world's largest RV show. And today, we are taking a look at the Burstner. This model is the Lesso Gallery and it is model 689G. We have our friend Eva who's gonna be helping us out and we're gonna show you all the great features about this motorhome. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be with Eva and Burstner to show you this awesome motorhome. But before I begin, I have to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing extremely well, you guys. I am super excited to be here. I can't even tell you how amazing this is. Yes, and Andrea, the European culture, every place we go, they gotta give us another cappuccino, don't they? They do! I've had so much coffee already, so forgive me if I'm super hyper, but you guys, thank you so much to Heimer Group, who has welcomed us, welcomed us here, yes. and has just been so hospitable. Yes, so thank yes. you. Now, we are here with Eva from Burstner. Burstner is one of the 21 divisions under Heimer. Heimer's a division off Thor Industries. Thank you, Bob Martin, for connecting thank us you, Bob all together. Uh, Eva, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So who are you? So I'm part of the promotion team from Burstner. So we're here helping out on the shows, basically just talking to our customers and explaining, showing the vehicles, just explaining the details and what our brand is about. So she's like a factory rep when you go to an American show. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what we have going on here. This is Burstner's newest vehicle and hottest vehicle. Yeah, so the Liseo Gallery is a new technology that we as a brand developed and brought out this year. So basically it's an all four plan with a new design and specifically a new bedroom. So we've got a pop-up pop roof. Very nice. Guys, that pop-up roof's absolutely amazing. Wait till you see the inside. Um, but tell us some specs about this. What is the length of it and everything? Yeah. So this vehicle is a 7 meter vehicle, so 699 to be precise. Okay. Um, 2 meter 30 width. Um, we are on a half integrated chassis on a Fiat Ducato. Okay. Um, currently, I believe 140 PS um, automatic gearbox. Okay. Um, it's basically a two berth vehicle. Um, but we can make it a full berth, so up to four people can drive. Okay. And if necessary, four people can sleep. So you will have two on the top and then two on the table. So you will bring down the table and just convert it to a little bed. Very nice. And if you guys are watching this and you're interested in buying one of these units, we'll link their website down below. But this video is more of uh, just us showing it off. So what's the chassis on this? I love it. I love the headlight design and everything. You said this is Ducati? So Fiat Ducato. V Fiat Ducato. So, yeah. Very nice. You got the LED lights there. Is there anything special about it? Um, basically, Fiat is the main sort of brand that we use in Europe for motorhomes. Okay. Um, we've got, because it's a Liceo, our Liceo branding is quite high spectrum. Okay. So you've got everything that you need. So from the tire coverage to the LED lights, you've got just the nice front. And then it's mostly inside, really, that the chassis is becoming nicer and nicer so you've got little things like all the assistance that you need okay driving wheel does this using. have that it does have it yeah very nice coming on down look at these tires they to the michelins i love those they are 225-75 r16 cp with the nice fiat rims yeah okay Good. let's go around this side okay we're doing it the opposite. All right, so we have these awesome Euro style windows. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Right here. It's okay. <laughs> That's where your fuel fill is. Yeah, so you've got the diesel and the Ad blue because in Europe the rules are changing a little bit. Okay. So we're trying to become cleaner and cleaner, and in the motorhome and industry is trying to work to electric, but for now we're still with diesel and Ad blue. Okay, very nice. And then right over here. Cassette toilet? No, yeah. that wouldn't be the oh, toilet. That would be on the side. That would be the toilet cassette. It's just shut down for now. But um, 
but oh, no, the that's toilet. That's a fresh water. Yeah, yeah yes. sorry, that's a fresh water tank. Yes. We use the same door sometimes for the toilet cassette. Yeah, no, you, that, you, that that you don't want to you don't want to mix up those two waters. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be great. Okay, so that's your fresh water. Fresh water tank. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Here, Truma hot. Yeah. Instant hot tankless water heater. Gas bottles comes in there, so you've got two big gas bottle. Oh. oh. You know, that you can put in there for your stove, your oven. Sometimes you're heating. So not propane. Uh, or it is propane. I think you guys call it propane. We okay. call it gas. Okay, so so yeah. who's right? You or us? Both. There you go. <laughs> mm. And then here is the power. Yeah. Okay. Main power. And then oh check my out goodness. This garage. Wow. They're actually able to fit a bike in. This is very nice. How long have you had this garage feature? Um, we've had it quite a while. Okay. Um, but basically, this is why this floor plan is so popular. Okay. Because you've got that big door, you've got a huge amount of space, which is, can be important for e-bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Some insurances want you to have a closed shop room for the e-bikes. Really? Yeah. You guys have insurances on bikes? Yeah, we do. Wow. Electronic bikes are expensive. They're expensive, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, so you just basically some insurances just rather have you shut them with like the key. You'd be amazed how many people actually ride their bikes here other than over there. Okay. Um, like everybody has vehicles. Like people yeah. ride their bikes for leisure. Yeah. Whereas here it's like people ride it for transportation. Yeah, I mean to be fair, it's, you know, you get easily from A to B over here in cities. Like the cities are not as, as big as you would think they are. Like right. Paris, for example, is actually quite tiny. Why? The roads, yeah. the roads. Oh, the roads, yeah. yes. And also the other thing is we've got so many cars, we're getting a lot of like ecological issues. So mm. governments are pushing and pushing for you to get bikes. Well, there you go. Okay. Get, snatch yourself up an electric e-bike there. <laughs> Perfect, and then coming around the back. Okay, so you have backup camera. Yeah. Did you have side cameras or no? No. Okay. Traditionally in Europe, you have the backwards camera and that's it. You've got the two mirrors and you basically wing it from there. Yeah. Um, other than that, if you've got normal bikes or sometimes e-bikes, you can carry them on here. So you can add that bike rack on there and then just oh, carry you them. You can from the outside? Yeah. Really? So, you would just we would just add a bike rack on it and then you can just put your bike your bikes here which just frees up that extra garage very nice nice and then around the other side the other side of the storage yep other side of storage nice power awning with led lights and everything yeah can we go in on the inside and see what that pop top looks like yeah sure but first we got to give a big shout out to brooklyn betty matt's rv reviews european edition is proudly sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding, which is RVMattress.com. RVMattress.com made this once in a lifetime trip come true. They are 100% the reason why we were able to bring you Matt's RV Reviews European Series. Join us after the review as we bring you along to Windsor Castle. And if you need a new mattress for your RV, search no further than rvmattress.com backslash Matt. Here are the three best mattresses that I recommend. The first being the Dream Foam Hybrid, which is universal comfort with cooling on contact. Next is the Signature Hybrid, which is their best seller. It is patented superior sleep at a factory direct price. Or my personal favorite, which is the Brooklyn Aurora Lux. Best in class cooling technology in a premium luxury hybrid. Best part about it, it is free shipping. You get a 120 night sleep trial guaranteed and they are 100% made in the USA. All you have to do is take it out of the box, lay it out and watch it expand. Make sure you check out my video on all the different types of mattresses. I will link that video at the end of this video and in the description below. Click our link down below and use promo code MAP for 20% off. Thank you again to rvmattress.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. All right, show us the inside. Let's go, let's go. Take a look, Andrea. Hi. Wow. Welcome into the Liceo um, Gallery 689. Um, so we brought out, sorry, we brought out the vehicle out this year, brand new. Um, basically, with the concept, so the brand business stands a lot for what we call Wohnfühlen, which is a play on a word, which is just being comfortable and feeling comfortable while living. Yes. So in Europe, obviously, the roads are very narrow. So if you go down to the south of France, Paris, if you go to Italy, Greece, or even just the UK, the roads are really, really narrow. So what you will find is that you will face quickly, like huge trucks. Yes. And to prevent the stress, because obviously, you know, 
for some other countries you're driving on the wrong side um, and obviously you know sometimes it's a vehicle that you've um, taken somewhere out so to prevent all of that the, com the market is really compact so we tend to really like that compactness so we're on a seven meter vehicle here okay um so just beneath seven meters um with like 230 width nice meters so basically with that we obviously also want to provide the feeling of comfort in the vehicle freedom is what we're looking for mm -hmm. because basically here um motor uh, motorhomes are really like about freedom yes because you think you the idea is if you decide to stay in bordeaux tonight you can if you want to go to nice tomorrow you can nice so that's really that picture that we want to give so this vehicle this layout um, obviously besides the newest technology we've right. got. Right, do you mind? Yeah, for sure. So we've got... Um, oh, you're going to? Go on I, I can go. Yes, yeah. we'll vote. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bunk over the cabin, this is new. Yeah, exactly. I love the steps. So this is a brand new technology that we've developed. Um, so basically this is also for now Bursner original and Bursner individual. Okay. Um, so we're taking a new take on this bed yes i love it look i got yeah. i got a foot and a half yeah and you've got a really nice window as well to give you oh. some light as well and some fresh air um so basically you know how they were fixed usually yes you couldn't move them around you had to drive with it it would give you extra height which would limit you for example on boats okay when you want to cross from one country to another oh like ferries ferries okay. yeah okay. or even just um taxes sometimes when you drive on the motor what motorway for example in france <laughs> If you've got a specific length or height, it okay. can be more pricey. So what we've done is we've developed this chamber with, so basically works with air. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Now nah, you're good. And you've got basically air within the wall, so it's like a pressure. Oh, um, this is the air. Exactly. Oh, okay. So a compressor, which is going to fill it up with air, and then it's basically going to provide you with like a boundary on there. So that makes it st stable and we've also tested it through the worst conditions that can happen so we've put it in a chamber with minus 30 degrees we've put it through extreme heat extreme high winds and it withstand withstood everything you guys have never been to fort myers in the summer <laughs> <laughs> no probably not at least for european yes standard it yes. should work you've got a two meter width bed um so to meet over 150, so you should have plenty of space for two people here. Oh yeah. And then you've got the great idea of having a view outside. What's the weight? Um, of this vehicle. No, of this bed. So you can go up to 250. Pounds or kilos? Kilos. Okay. That's what we Let's say, yes. but because you're on the vehicle, yes. you should hopefully with, like, withstand a lot more. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. And then again, Andre, just like last week, all their steps here have storage in them. Very nice. So that's something that you're going to find a lot, even through underneath the carpets in the floor. You will, you should find a lot of storage Incredible. because we're trying to maximize the storage as much as we can yes. to give you the possibility of living and feeling yes. comfortable. Now look at here this. in the dinette. Look at this table. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Those seats swivel around. And you told us outside, what was the chassis again? So it's a Fiat Ducato. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Look at this table. And this is a lot better than those Lagoon tables. Yes. We have the nice uh, features here. Again, the Euro style windows, shades. Daytime in, privacy. privacy. And then check out this cabinetry. How do you like it, Andrea? It's beautiful. I see the locks here in the middle. That's how you open it. I love the LED lights, mm -hmm. the shelves. You just squeeze right here and it opens. Oh, unbelievable. Very nice. What else do we have going on? So basically with this layout, you've got a big bathroom. So, you oh. know. Well, fortunately we have Big Will here. <laughs> oh, Will, wow. you gotta in that shower. Okay. Okay, this oh, one. Oh, there is. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Oh my goodness, Matt. I think you might like that toilet. Look at this bathroom, you guys. Now they did it right. Okay. Even Will is able to get in there, Will. Right, I mean, it's definitely tall enough. Um, do these doors, go? no, only one way. Very cool. So, I mean, it's definitely small. Yeah. You know, I can't pass or fail because I don't know European standards. I right. don't know the European bylaws. But is this a big shower for 
this size? It's Look a big shower for motorhomes. Okay. So okay. motorhomes you usually have um, toilets and shower mm, combined oh. commonly. Yes. Matt, look what I see right here. Uh oh. Let's see if I can. Oh, look beautiful. at this! Incredible. Wow. Now that's what I call a closet. Wow. Unbelievable. And underneath, you've got the access to the garage from the inside. The garage. Oh. Oh, oh yes. There's a bike back there. So you can store even more clothes if needed. Also. Oh, that yes. would be me. Look at this! I love I love the LED lights. I love this modern era Beautiful. look. And I can even see like how they did their sink. Makes it a, lo a lot of space in here. Wow. But this is incredible, Matt. You All need right. To it's my turn. Check out this toilet. Oh, well, you want to come out the shower? Yeah. You got well stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we were both back there and had plenty of room. I know. Okay, well, so also notice the pocket door, kind of accordion style. Curvature door. And then, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think, oh. Plastic, <laughs> wah, wah. Andrea, it's sad because like I have plenty of leg space, but this is not a prime pooping position. All right, show us the kitchen. Oh my goodness. Please. Yeah, yeah. show us, this is so, gorgeous. You can hand me Again, the, really this nice, about this layout, that is what makes it so special. You've got a big bathroom. I got it, I got it. Okay. You've got a big bathroom and a massive kitchen. Again, usually motorhomes in Europe, you have to compromise either yes. one of them. So you've got here loads of storage. You've got your stove. On the English market, we tend to give you a multiplex stove with oven because obviously English markets rather have an oven. You've got an extension oh, of the kitchen as well. I love that. To do That's some veg lovely. cutting, you know, when you're standing here. Uh, we've even given you like a little protection for your sink, you know, in case you want to cut some more there or in, you just want to have it clean and stored away. We've put some things for you to hang. And then really interestingly in the Liceo Gallery, which is nice, is this. Oh! So we're giving you the ability to do a bar as well. So oh. you've got extra storage in here. You can make your cocktails when you're oh my goodness. in the south of France. Yes. Having oh. your sunset right here in the sea. So cool. And you're having your drinks. Yes. Open that real quick for us, please. Oh, that storage over there? Yes. Yeah. So, exactly. Okay. Oh. That's perfect for the shoes. You and know, then, when you don't want dirty everything, you just pack the shoes I didn't away. Need TV. There's a TV. Okay. And then get this fridge Look for at us. this. Wow. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Okay, this is storage up here. Extra storage again. Okay. I like to put my crisps in there personally. <laughs> crisps? Yeah. Okay, I should open these. Yeah, ones. sorry. Yes. There's the British in me coming out. I thought so. Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> We've got even more storage as well. Wow. wow. Over here. I love it. I love how you guys are utilizing everything over here. And here is the three burner cooktop. Very wow. nice. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Incredible. Oh, and every every handle has that. Yes, yeah. Incredible. Anything else about the inside that we need to know? And um, the only thing is you will find over the vehicle those little bobs there. What um, is that? So that's a little station for lights. So as a brand person, we've developed home lights that you can utilize. So you can take put them on here and take them off, put them on the table, use oh, them as a lamp. Oh, wow. So you can have that in the vehicles and you charge them in the door. So that's the little something that we as a brand provide. In, our, in some of our vehicles. Well, thank you. Great, Eva. Thank you so much for showing us oh, this uh, awesome motorhome. Anything else you want to say to America? Um, yeah, basically, Rooster is a German brand, so we are working <laughs> with... <laughs> Keep going. We're working with German engineering systems, so feel free to come, give us a shout, say hello. We'll be happy to show you guys around Perfect. and show you our brand. Perfect. And again, if you guys are interested in buying one of these, uh, we do have their website down below. And how does it work over here? There is dealerships. Yeah. So you say find, is it find a GMV or is it find a dealership? Uh, find a dealership is the On their easiest. website, okay? Exactly. Perfect. Anything else you want to say to anybody else that you know that's watching this? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, it was really nice Love to have it. you guys thank here. You, thank you, thank so you so much. Thank you, Eva. We appreciate it. And guys, make sure you join us next weekend for another live episode of Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition.
Oh man, I'm only at 22% battery like an idiot. In the bag. It's literally the same thing. It's really the same. No, German McDonald's was a lot better. I mess with Germany. I might, dude, I might talk to uh, Dominic and we should like spend a summer in Germany and I should sell, I should sell Heimers. No, I'm not spending a summer, summer in London. Go through your own language. Well, Alyssa, Alyssa took German in school. Or the stateroom. Right. It kind of sucks. We should have gone three yeah, hours we're going here. This way. We're going straight. Oh, uh, yeah. Because an hour of it was I'm waiting straight. to enter. Right. Like, if we didn't spend all that time waiting, we would have been good. Yeah, we would have been able to kind of chill through here and go to the chapel and kind of run through it. Oh, look, look, look. He's moving. There he, there he goes. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Did you guys do the chapel as well? Yeah. So you did both? Yeah. Did you? Unreal. No, we didn't do the chapel. We're efficient. Andre would like that. Did you guys see my it's coat of arms? Beautiful, that you know, that's where Prince Harry and Meghan got married. Oh, Meghan Markle. Yeah. Did you guys see my coat of arms inside? It was hanging up inside. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> Do you have a coat of arms? No, you're not royal. And you'll never be I have royal. Good teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrea, wh wh what did we just see? We just saw Windsor Castle. Yes, unfortunately, uh, we could not take any pictures there or any videos. Out of respect for Her Majesty the Queen. But I think that's a little bull because I come from British royalty myself, so I should have had permission. If you guys don't believe me, here is the uh, official Foxcroft coat of arms. So we'll just put it up here, bing. Because my Wi-Fi is not working. So, I, I think I should have an exception. What say you, Miss Foxcroft? Um, no. You have oh. to respect Her Majesty's wishes. She does live there. And, you know, it is the state room and the state, you know, I'm residence. part of the state. And you my don't family. Want, I can understand, well, you may not want other countries seeing that. Yeah. So. Well, it's pretty cool. Definitely worth the trip. Not a long time here. Uh, because we did like a bus tour, but that's it guys. That's the Windsor Castle. Make sure you guys join us again next weekend for another episode of Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition. Goodbye. <laughs>